Your children are not your retirement plan. Your children are not your retirement plan. Building a retirement plan, a solid, good retirement plan. This is something that I talk about every single time. People keep asking me, but nobody's doing it. Why am I saying nobody's doing it? Because the young people don't think that this is the time to start thinking about retirement. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how do you build a good retirement plan from a very early stage. I'm not saying wait until you're 40, 50. Um, and if you're there already, no problem. You can always work out of a plan. But if you're still young, 20s, 30s, that's the time to lay that foundation for a good retirement plan. As usual guys, here at Ken's Money Matters, we talk about the money mindset, how to make that money, how to manage that money, how to enjoy that money, how to invest that money, and how to assure yourself of a lifetime of income, basically financial freedom. So we're going to be looking at some of the ways you can build a very good and solid uh, retirement plan. Why do I want to talk about retirement plan? Number one is one thing that we never talk about or we never think about. Let me not say we don't talk about. We don't think about because we think it's just too far. You know, retirement is too far to think about. It's probably been 20, 30, 40 years. You're thinking, damn, why don't you start thinking about that now? And that's why we lose the plot. That's why we lose the track of building wealth. That's why we stop thinking like um, strategists and we think like people were living in the bush whereby everything was available for us, which is not a bad thing, but the systems have changed now. And therefore we have to think long-term. We have to strategize, you have to plan, you have to have a very solid um, objectives and goals around your retirement. Most young people don't want to talk about retirement, but this is one of the most sensitive topics and the most critical topics that we should actually talk about as young people. So we're going to be looking at ways in which you can start building a retirement plan and it's going to be a much, much lighter lift if you start now than if you wait and start later. You're going to find it much more easy, much more efficient than if you wait 10 more years or 5 more years. Because you know what? Just 5 more years added to that plan makes it a very, very difficult or heavy lift for you, financially speaking. There are many ways in which you can build a, a, a good retirement plan. I'm going to give you one way which is going to be very solid and it's a sure way, it's 100% foolproof. How do you build that retirement plan? The first thing is knowing exactly what you want when it comes to retirement. When I'm coaching people, I always tell them, have you imagined what your retirement looks like? What do you foresee in your retirement? Or what kind of life do you want? Because you will never actually think, okay, what do I want to do? Because if you think about it, right now you're a young person, you're working, you're having fun, you have friends, you have all these things going on in your life, but every single day time is passing and you're nearing that time when you're going to retire at some point. So. It is good to start thinking about it now, but you need to have a very clear picture of what exactly you want. Because despite you having some short-term goals or medium-term goals, that becomes one of your long-term goals. It's gonna happen one way or the other. And as you can see our society right now, most people got there without a plan. And therefore, they don't have the best of lives. You find even people who are working quite well, they had quite a good you know, career, quite a good business run in their, in their youth. They don't do as well you know, in their retirement. Why? Because they just got there without actually planning properly how to get there. So number one is knowing what you want. Build a picture around what you want. Have a picture of like, what kind of life do I want to live? How do I want to live it? Um, if you're talking about income, how much do I want to be earning? If we're talking about uh, where do I want to live? If you're talking about the kind of lifestyle I want to sustain, what life is that? And then the next thing is you want to know when do you want to have that retirement? Big question. Of course, there's the legal retirement age, which in most cases will be like 55 or 60 or 65, depending on where you are, right? In Kenya, it's 60 now, and now they want to take it back to 55. Then there's your own plan to retire. Nobody wants to work forever. The best thing you can use money to buy is time and freedom. If you buy back your time, you buy back your freedom. So retirement gives you that freedom. Retirement is just an avenue of you getting freedom, buying back your time and making sure that you have that free time to do whatever you want in your life. So when you talk about retirement, we're talking about that financial freedom, that ability to do, wake up in the morning and do whatever you want. It doesn't mean stopping working completely. It just means that nobody controls your life and money doesn't become an immediate need for you in your life. And therefore you can stop going to work actively you know, if you want to, or you could be working for the sake of working or just building and building and building more wealth because you want to, but not because you can't afford your needs. So in that instance, when you talk about building wealth, when you talk about uh, retirement, we're talking about freedom. 
So you need to determine when you want that freedom. When do you want it? So someone like me, I could say by 40, I'm done. I'm not doing any more work every single day to achieve you know, my daily needs or to basically make money. I should have invested enough to allow me to live a good retirement life from them. Somebody would say that's 20 years early, I'm okay with it, I want that freedom back. Not to sit down, but to do other stuff that are probably more important to me, but might not be giving me an immediate financial return or are not focused on financial return. So that's the second thing you want to know. You want to know when are you going to retire. Make that plan very clear. Say, I want to retire by 40 and then start working towards that goal. That gives you a timeline because a goal must have a very specific timeline. So that gives you a very clear timeline. Then the third thing is you want to start as early as possible. I say this all the time, especially to young people. Please, please, please start thinking about retirement as early as you can. Don't wait until you're 40, 45, then you realize, oh, damn, I need to start thinking about my retirement. It's the worst thing you can ever do to yourself. Because what happens is when you're talking about finances and when you talk about compounding interest, investing, even doing business, the longer you do it, the more you become a master, the more money you're going to make. The more value you provide to people, the more money you're going to make, right? And if you're investing, the more money you put in and the more time you give that money in whatever asset it is, in whatever vehicle it is you're investing it, the more money it's going to make you back. So if you start at 25, you're going to make way more money than someone who starts at 30. And usually these differences are so clear. Just go into a calculator, investment calculator, and do these differences online. Google an investment calculator. See if you start investing... 5,000 Kenyan shillings today every single month. Invest it until you are, let's say, 40 or 50. And then do the same with 5,000 Kenyan shillings when you're 30. Invest it up to the same age and see how much the difference is. The five-year difference is a huge difference when it comes to the outcome of your investments. So the earlier you start, the easier it is for you. If you start at 30 and you want to match the person who started at 25, you're going to have to invest way more and way faster. If you start early, then you don't have to worry because you have enough time and you, your money also has enough time in the market or in the investment vehicle to make you more money. So start thinking about this as early as possible. Starting early also helps you get into that habit of saving and investing. It gets you into the right mindset. It gets you into the right mindset of dreaming big or thinking long term and uh, thinking of you know your retirement much earlier. So. The earlier you begin, the better for you. Then you have to think long term. This is one thing that as black people we struggle with, thinking long term. We have what we call the lizard brain, a lazy brain. So most of the time when you start thinking of something that is so off, your, your mind just cannot fathom it. And then it just goes into that, that mode of like giving up, right? But we need to start train your mind to think long term. It's a training that the mind is like a muscle. You train it to get to a particular point. You train it to... Uh, to, to, to normalize certain things. So let it normalize 30 years, 40 years thinking style. So if you're 20, you're going to think of it in terms of maybe 30 years, depending again on when you want to retire, right? If you're 30, you're going to think of it in terms of 20, 30 years, depending again on when you want to retire. So think long term. But thinking long term doesn't just apply to retirement. It applies to everything else. If you think long term, you're in a position to normalize thinking 20 years from now and invest in things that do not require an immediate return. What is killing most of our people, not just in terms of like, like literally killing them, but in terms of their dreams, is because they want immediate returns. And if they don't see those returns, they stop doing what they need to do. You need to think long term. You need to think of what's going to come in the next 20, 30, 40 years. And in terms of retirement, you have to think long term. What are you going to need in the next 20, 30 years? Where are you going to live? What kind of house? What kind of income will you be having? What kind of you know, health do you want to live? Uh, you have to have that clear long-term view of your life. So if you think long-term again, it also means you can start investing now, knowing very well that this money I'm putting aside is not money that I can just take and do nothing with. It's money that is meant for me to actually invest in my retirement. There's no way you're going to invest in that long-term dream or plan if you don't start thinking long-term. It will sound so off to you, you will probably save the money for one month or two months and you'll take the money and use it, right? And then the next thing is have a clear plan for a retirement home. This is very important. You want to have a plan for a retirement home. Why do I say you need a plan for a retirement home? Because where you live is the most important thing. So at least if you're going to live in the village, you want to have that home, you know, set up in the village, you know? Not now, I'm not saying do it now, but you must have a plan in terms of like, okay, at the time I'm going to retire, let's say I'm going to go back to where I come from in Nyanza. 
and therefore I say I will need a home that will probably cost me around 10 million to build. I need to have a plan of investing that 10 million now such that when I'm ready to go and build it, I go build it. I don't believe in building a house where I don't live at the moment and leave it there and then one day maybe things change. This is the conversation that people have been having about debt capital, which I need actually to do a video on. Anyway, apart from that, right, you need to think in terms of where do you want to live? Where do you want to stay? Because that's the biggest thing, right? Shelter is the biggest thing. If you have a place to live, now you can start thinking about things like food, clothes and health and stuff. Where are you going to live? How much will it cost you? And where are you going to invest this money? And if you want to build it now, no problem. You might decide that you want to build it now. So then go ahead and build it, you know, make a plan on how to build it. And know, okay, this is my home. I'm building a home here and this is where I'm going to be spending the rest of my life. Having a home gives you that security. It gives you that security in that you have a place to be, you have a place to stay. And sometimes people retire and they're in rental houses and then life becomes extremely difficult because you still have to pay someone their rent. But I'm also not saying you're going to build a massive, massive, massive house. As long as it fits you and you feel okay with it, that's what I'm saying. Build something that matches the lifestyle that you have foreseen for your retirement. As easy as that. And then the next one, which is very important, you have to know your expenses and your income. You must know how much are you spending and how much you actually get. If you do not understand your money and how it flows, there is no way you can plan for your retirement. I talk to so many people who do not understand their money. I always say, know your money. If I ask you every single month you're making 100,000 Kenya shillings, for example, or $1,000, what goes where? You should be able to tell me even five, six years back exactly how you spend that money. I won't expect that you tell me every single coin, and that's why I don't believe in like written budgets as much, but I will expect you to tell me at least what you have invested. I'm more interested in what you've put aside because everything else you paid other people. You paid the rent, you paid other bills, you paid so many other things, but the only thing probably you haven't paid is paying yourself. I want you to tell me in the last five years I've been working, I have money to pay myself this much. That is what I mean by understanding your money. I don't say just understand your money for the sake of it. I'm, understand, I'm saying understand your money so that you can always pay yourself in the process. And by paying yourself, you are planning for that retirement. That's how you plan for retirement. You can only plan for retirement by paying yourself. The money that goes to other people and pays bills, that's not your money. That's their money. That is helping them plan their own retirement. So what about you? What helps you plan your own retirement? Do you pay yourself? Then the next thing you want to know is how will your expenses change and how will your income change once you retire? How much pension are you going to get? How much are you going to be spending? So you want to do that calculation and check, okay, Based on the investments I've made or the investments I'm making or what I want to make, will it be able to sustain the kind of lifestyle I want and based on the changes that will happen? When you're older, you probably want more money to, to, to take care of your health. You probably want more money to take care of, you know, some other things that you don't want to take care of now or you don't have to take care of now. There are new responsibilities when you're older. I always tell people when you're older, you need more money with less energy, less opportunities. While you're younger, you have more opportunities, you have more energy, you probably make more money, and less, ex less expenditures, right? But when you're older, you end up having more things to spend money on, more people probably looking up to you uh, that you need to support somehow. Uh, your health is also deteriorating at that time, so you need to see a doctor more often, or you need better healthcare system, you need a better home, uh, you need a better, a more settled life, you need better food, or you know, to be taken care of generally in a better way. That's what you need when you get older. But when you're younger, most of the time you don't need these things. So when is the best time to actually plan for retirement. It's when you're younger and energetic and you have opportunities and you don't have so many expenses. This is the best time to start thinking about your retirement. Not when you're older with more responsibilities and worse health, less opportunities. But if you're smart enough, you can also use your skills to propel yourself. But you wanna plan for your retirement when you're still young. The most important part after thinking all these things, you wanna invest for the long term. And I've mentioned this, invest knowing that I'm investing for the next 20, 30 years. If you do not have that kind of thinking power, if you don't have that kind of brain, you need to find it. You need to convince yourself. You need to think about it properly. Look around you. Look around you and look at people who did not invest for the long term, despite what they were doing in their lives, despite the kind of money they made when they were still working you will see their lives and that will just jolt you into action. Invest for the long term. Have certain investments that are meant for your retirement. There are an array of investments that I talk about all the time, but there are some that are specifically good for long term investments. And those long term investments are supposed to be your retirement plans. 
you should be very clear on how much you want when you want it and how much you're investing right now and how much you're going to get in returns if you get to that goal and when you get to that goal and then the last one i always say avoid debts avoid debts that don't pay you specifically and if you're bad with debts and you know you cannot manage them just avoid them then focus on man managing your income and investing long term if you can manage debt and use it to buy assets or things that pay you no problem people use debt all the time to do real estate but those are people who are in a position to take that debt i've done a video on debt that's a separate conversation you have to be in a position to take that debt don't just take debt for the sake of taking debt because what happens you wake up too late when you are 40 50s you're thinking of retirement and you have this big debt that is still eating into your finances here so you have to focus on the debt pay off the debt then you start thinking about your retirement you have less than five years to go you start saying oh you know one two three giving excuses for nothing you had probably 30 40 years to work make money pay off debt you took some dumb debts you made some dumb decisions now you have debts that are killing you and you need to retire so if you want to have a flawless retirement plan you need to avoid your debt avoid debts if you can't manage them avoid them completely if you can manage them well and good make sure by the time you're easing into your retirement you have less and less debts and your assets are way 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 more than your liabilities so you can easily pay off your debts even if you were to cash them out and go into retirement so don't go into that phase of retirement with so much debt weighing you down that's what happens whereby the bank or the people around you or the people who have loaned you money realize oh now you have nothing that you're giving them you have no value anymore what do they do they come for your assets and then what happens after you have nothing in retirement so you worked all your life you made money you made assets you built stuff then you took a wrong debt at the wrong time or you did not think about it properly before taking it you went with the debt into retirement now they come and auction the assets you built leave you with nothing you have no time no energy no opportunities depression and stress is going to kill you or you start depending on your children for retirement your children are not your retirement plan i should have said like that your children are not your retirement plan they did not ask to be born it's their life they are living they are not your retirement plan so don't sit down there and say oh i'm educating my children because they will take care of me when i get old they won't and even if they do it will be a favor they are doing to you and not a plan so please let us the young people not think of our children as our retirement plans please 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 we are supposed and we have a lot of opportunity to make money to build wealth to plan our retirement if you haven't planned your retirement properly you failed as a person you failed and so you should not come around blaming people blaming children because they're not taking care of you or whatever whatever you failed because you had a head start for that child if someone maybe 60 years ahead of me is asking me to take care of them it means they failed they did not take care of they didn't take advantage of the opportunities that were available at the time to plan for their retirement so don't go the same path i know some people will be thinking this is controversial but it's the truth most people think that it is your right or whatever responsibility whatever to take care of no if you had a head start if right now the person i'm speaking to let's say you're in your 30s you're in your 20s you haven't made a solid plan for retirement you have the chance to there are so many investments i talk about all the time that you can invest in that could give you good money in those years you don't even need to invest so much you also have the chance to increase your income you have the chance to start a business you have the chance to do so many things right now don't tell me one day that oh you want to rely on your child to take care of you why you will have failed to take advantage of opportunities available now to plan now to think of the future now and that's why you'll be asking for someone else to take care of you so to avoid that start planning now and guys retirement is coming whether you want it or not it's still coming so you'd rather plan for it let it find you ready until next time i'm out and remember you can always come to me if you want to make a very personalized uh, financial game plan financial objectives health financial health assessment Case Money Matters, I'm available. My website is going to be attached somewhere here, www.casemoneymatters.com. Come to me. My WhatsApp number is right on that website. You can come straight to me and I'll help you make that solid retirement plan.